Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? Seneca sculptor Mary Watts' blanket art comes in a range of shapes and sizes. In 2004, Watts sewed strips of blankets together to craft a 10 by 13 inch blank. In 2014, she arranged folded blankets in two large stacks and then cast them in bronze, creating two curving 18 foot tall blue bronze pillars. So a key point here is that there's two independent clauses in the second sentence, the first being, in 2004, Watts sewed strips of blankets together to craft a 10 by 13 inch blank, and the second being, in 2014, she arranged folded blankets into two large stacks, and then cast them in bronze, creating two curving, 18 foot tall blue bronze pillars. So the proper punctuation here would connect these two independent clauses. So choice A says, sampler, later, comma. This is incorrect because a comma here would result in a comma splice, and later isn't a proper conjunction, so this improperly connects the two independent clauses. So A is incorrect. B, sampler, semicolon. This seems to be correct because semicolon properly connects two independent clauses, and because the second uh, clause still refers to the same topic as the first clause, a semicolon would fit here. So B seems to be the correct answer. C. Sampler, comma. This is incorrect for the same reason as A, because a comma here would result in a comma splice, and because there's no conjunction, then A does not properly connect the two independent clauses. So C is incorrect. D. Sampler, comma, later, comma. This is incorrect because the same reason as C and A, because these commas would result in a comma splice, and later isn't a proper conjunction. So D is incorrect. And the correct answer is B.